another method is to uh, pour some fluid on here and measure how much uh, uh, volume it will take to fill up the combustion area. But that will leave me uh, <laughs> another uh, headache of trying to figure out how much material was removed on this one. But it will give me a pretty good idea of the compression ratio I will have. But since I already know the compression ratio on this one, on this piston, and a slightest idea of how much material was removed, so I think this will give me at least a 10 to 1 compression ratio. A little bit over 10 to 1 compression ratio. As long as I'm not passing... The Let's check this for flatness. A zero right there. Now I'm going to check the indicator. I'm going to try to put it on the center as much as I can. That's 40,000 from zero to left. That's 41. One in the front. And that's uh, 40 and a half, 10,000 of an inch. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is SagitNet2. This is the K2083 uh, block, one of my spares. This block, together with the cylinder head, has not seen a machinist, nor any material removed from the mating surfaces. Today's episode, I would like to calculate or figure out how much material has been removed on this block and also that cylinder head. If you have seen or watched the episode on giving a second life on the K24A project, this has been reworked and I don't have any other choice but to let the machinist shape some material off from it. And this block has been oversized. Again, he has to resurface the block. Anyway, the quickest way of finding out how much material was removed is to give him a call. I know some of you guys have the same question like me, you know, because of you want to calculate exactly how much your compression ratio will be. I have a good prime example right there, which is that engine block, and we'll get into that later on. Just a little disclaimer, uh, this is nothing but a research collecting data and only my opinion and which is will be based getting the data from this engine block right here like I said earlier this has not seen any machinists nor any material has been removed so this is just to give us uh, a little bit of an idea if we do need a thicker head gasket I mean it's just a decision that you have to make this build right here i'm thinking of boosting this motor and yeah i have this question in my head i want to know exactly how much material was removed right and as far as i know when i got this piston right here from nippon racing i went back to their site uh, the seller and the description was this will give me a 9.8 to 1 compression ratio which is good by the way. Now that the material was removed on both of these items right here, this probably will give me a 10 to 1 compression ratio, which is I have no problem with it because most of my motor, my turbocharged motor, they're all in that range anyway. What I'm trying to avoid is having a compression ratio of more than 11 to 1. Uh, since I'm using a pump gas, 91 octane yeah, I, I tried to stay away on E85 it's because of I hardly use the car anyway so yeah I don't want to get into that horror story about using E85 anyway uh, we know that the uh, the untouched block will have a 40,000 to 41,000 by just measuring that indicator that indicator by the way is put on by Honda just to let us know that when your block 
visited the machine shop and if it has been shaved multiple times and if this mating surfaces finally caught up with that raised material in the center on three sides meaning it's time for you to get a new block it's already uh, reached its maximum serviceable limit that's what the indicator is for same thing on the cylinder head it has also have those indicator so we already know it's 40 to 4 to 1000 all i need to do is make sure that the indicator is zero i'm going to try to put it in the center as much as i can because of uh it varies if i move it on side it's it it give me a different reading so i'm gonna try to put it in the center as much as i can and that's uh 36 i'm reading it from zero going left that one is 34 this one is 34 as well so if I average it out, it will be 35. Let me get a marker. So this one is 35. So from, that'll be minus 41. And I'm, that should be uh, what, uh, 6,000? 6, yep. So I have 6,000 up an inch material remove on this one on this block would that be a precise like i said it's just to give me a general idea now let's go to the cylinder head this is the k20 a3 cylinder head oh by the way even though that is a k20 and this is a k24 honda made it in a way that indicator the depthness of that it's standard anyway it's almost the same thing as the h series or b series you can correct me if i'm wrong if you have a spare block i mean it don't take long if you own one of these and you can always check it just to prove me wrong now let's check the k20 a3 cylinder head this is just for uh comparison make sure i'm zero That's 47. Forty-seven. That's forty-three. Yeah, forty-three. So from forty-three to forty-seven, I'm gonna call it forty-five. The height of the uh, the indicator, the depthness, not the height. We'll check, make sure if this thing is zero. Yep, zero out. That's thirty. That's thirty nine. Thirty-eight, and that's uh, one thirty-three. So thirty-three to thirty-nine. So the average will be thirty-six. Thirty-six, the average. Then minus 45, and that will come out to uh, 4, 9,000. Yeah. So 9,000 has been removed on this. Is it possible? Well, we never know, right? <laughs> I can call him and ask him about it <laughs> see how much he actually removed from it <laughs> anyway 
So uh, there we go. I'm just gonna use this number. This is not a precise anyway. This is just to give us an idea. This is what the episode is about. Just to give me an idea. Okay, 9,000 and the block, it was 6,000. So I have a total of uh, 15,000 removed. Would that be possible? That I don't know. That's why we have to calculate, right? So let's just say it's impossible that he will remove that much material. I'm giving my machine shop a call. Hello? I can't keep tracking. Yeah, I this... got 20 of them sitting out front right now, so I don't, I can't remember everything. But... Okay, no problem. Yeah, this is just a long shot. Uh, my mistake was I should have asked him when I picked this up. Uh, I don't really blame him for not remembering anything because uh, he does a lot of these things day in and day out. Uh, you heard it, he's got like 20 of these sitting on in front of his shop. <laughs> but uh, knowing the piston has a 9.8 to 1 compression ratio, when it's put together, uh, do you really think that he removed 16,000 off according to my calculation, my rough estimates? Let's just say I'm going to cut this in half. For example, that he just removed 4,000 off from this cylinder head or 3,000 and another 3,000 off from that block. So let's just say 6,000 all together. Will that throw off my compression ratio? Uh, not really. It's because of when I check this piston, this one will give me a 9.8 to 1 compression ratio, I believe. I could be wrong, I have to check. I have to uh, highlight it when I'm editing this one. Another method is to uh, pour some fluid on here and measure how much uh, uh, volume it will take to fill up the combustion area. But that will leave me uh, <laughs> another uh, headache of trying to figure out how much material was removed on this one. But it will give me a pretty good idea of the compression ratio I will have. Another 6,000 of an inch material removed on the cylinder head and the block, it probably would not even matter to me. This will give me at least a 10 plus to one compression ratio. As long as I don't go over 11 plus, I'll be okay using pump gas. Hopefully this episode will at least give you an idea what you are dealing with when it comes to your project, boost project, or any NA setup. NA setup, you know, I mean, I've seen people that goes up to about 13, no problem there. They actually wanted the, uh, they actually wanted some more material off from this. Anyway, uh, you know what? I was gonna show you this block. If I were to build this block, the H22, it's zero. That's a 19. Call that 19. And that's uh, 16. So 16 and 19, I'm gonna call it, uh, just take an average. Uh, I'll, I'll just call it 17. So 41 minus 17, how much is that? 24,000 was removed on this block, according to my estimate, all right? Not precise, but it's just an idea that 17,000 was removed on this one. And there you have it. As you can see, right? Everything is all set. This is where I end this episode. Uh, soon, I'll be uh, putting this together. I started uh, gapping the, uh, the piston rings, as you can see. Second ring, it's okay. I don't have to do anything. But this one is a little bit uh, too tight. It's right at 12,000. I need to go up to about 17, minimum is 17,000, yeah, for turbo. All right, this is where I end it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next. Bye, everyone. Later.